Facilities that make this program possible are provided by the City of Highland Park. Programs are produced independently by members of the community. The City of Highland Park is not affiliated with the following program or the producers of public access programming and is not responsible for the content. The following program does not reflect the opinions of the City of Highland Park. I'm Joyce of the Highland Park Senior Producers, and um, we're having a uh, very unusual guest today, and I'm so happy that she's here. Her name is Zoe Carlson. Don't you love that first name, Zoe? <laughs> oh. And um, she's going to tell you she's a, a new member of the Art Center. Uh, she. Her title is the Administrative Assistant, and prior to that she also had an interesting uh, experiences in uh, what she did. So we're going to talk about both things today. Hello, Zoe. Hi, Joyce. Glad Thanks to for have you here. Today. Well, thank you for coming. And um, she uh, just started at the Art Center um, this September. Uh, when did you start? September? Uh, end of August. End I of started. August. Pretty close, yeah. yeah. And I know James very well. He was my mentor, my acting teacher. He's in charge now and he's doing fabulous things with the Art Center and getting all these great people working there. Yeah, we've like, got a lot of cool projects going yeah, on. Yeah, oh, so different than it was, you know. And he's really, I mean, I went in there to see someone. They were so busy working, they didn't even see me waiting, they wouldn't even lift their head, that's how conscientious they are, <laughs> people, I told yeah, them, he was glad about that. Yeah, we definitely get sucked that. into the work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, right, and uh, we help each other out a lot of times with guests and things, because I like people to know what's going on, it's such a change from how it's been. Uh -huh. Okay, and um, you're going to have classes and workshops, and uh, you want to talk first about the upcoming winter exhibitions that are going to be held? Yeah, so in the Winter Fine Art Center. Yeah. In view. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a show just for the TAC members and also faculty. Oh. So that's one of the cool things about being a member is that you can submit work to show oh. in the member show. Oh. Um, and then there's a first, second, and third uh, place prize for this show. Oh, I know there's so many new activities and everything going on. Like, yeah. Yeah. This has been happening a couple years now. Has it? Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in February, we also have, it's the Youth Arts Month. So oh. we'll have a couple of school districts come in and have their students show work in the gallery. Oh, oh. So that would be really cool to have yeah, some I younger artists. Yeah, I know one room had just the children's exhibitions in a role. You know, the yeah. young people. Well, in this past exhibition, we had um, some work from Keshet, which works with uh, people with developmental disabilities. Oh, oh um, wasn't that nice? Yeah, so that was really cool to have them there oh, at the yeah. opening, too. Uh huh, uh huh. Very cool. Very good. And uh, what kind of, I mean, what classes are you going to be teaching? Uh, so we... Um, and he's working... Two workshops I mean in the workshops, winter. I yeah. Uh, one of the workshops is called Art Appreciation, Women in Surrealism. Oh. And I studied art history. That's what my background is in. Yeah, you have a PhD in her. Where did you no, say? You? Masters. Oh. <laughs> Not PhD oh, yet. Oh, well, I'm, you should probably. Well, felt like it. <laughs> I think I saw a PhD in a puzzle. That's what it was. Uh -huh. Three letters. <laughs> so, I have that in my mind. Well, great. And what school did you go to? I went to Cornell for my undergrad, mm -hmm. and then school. That's in New York? Yeah, that's in mm -hmm. Ithaca, New York, mm -hmm. upstate. Yeah. As I mentioned, is the School of the Art, Art Institute here oh, in yeah, Chicago. Oh, yeah, the Art Institute. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and uh, also you, uh, we'll come back to all this, but uh, I want to tell them also what you did prior to the uh, working at the Arts Center now. Sure, You, yeah. you lived in Peru? Yes, I lived in Peru seven months. Um, that Giving Tuesday started the fall of, I mean the summer of the year 2017, was it? Uh, that's, I did go for the first time in oh, 2017. Oh yeah, you went twice, you said. Yeah. yeah, and I was learning how to use the traditional backstrap loom, mm -hmm. um, which they use in the Andes. Oh. And that was related to some of my graduate school research. Uh, that's unusual. For and back. Uh, it your... was a little random, uh -huh. but... It was a very cool experience. Oh yeah, and super challenging. Did you go there alone? Live there on your own? I mean, you really, yeah, you had you had nerve, right? <laughs> a little bit. Uh -huh. The first time was only a month, and oh, then the second I went back yeah. for seven more months. Oh, good, um, good. It's good to do what you you know are interested in and really follow through on it because once yeah. it, once you don't, it's gone. You know, and, and yeah. yeah. Well, it was a good opportunity to. Well, was your position culture there and the do kinds speak, of weaving? Do they speak Spanish? Yeah, they speak Spanish there, but there's also a large population that speaks Quechua, which is the indigenous language oh, there. Oh, uh -huh. uh, but I think there's like a million Quechua speakers, so really? it's oh. not totally uncommon uh -huh. to hear Quechua. Oh yeah, how do you spell that Quechua? Uh, it's Q U B C H U A. Oh, because I'm not that familiar with it. Uh huh. Very good. And uh, so over two years, the Andes. I mean, what sort of living arrangements did you have? Um, I lived first in. It was sort of more like a, a community, like a co cooperative living. Oh, uh huh. Um, that was based sort of around yoga and. Oh energetic healing mm -hmm. healthy yeah it was a healthy thing mm -hmm. yeah so that was uh, really exercise. cool yeah uh -huh. and then i ended up finding an apartment too in cusco oh okay and i cusco. lived with oh, yeah, a friend cusco. C -U -Z. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. C O. yeah yeah exactly. okay <laughs> <laughs> right okay so and then it was over or could you have stayed longer if you wished or you found out about the arts um, oh. Yeah, I could have stayed. Oh, was she the she president? Did you feeling think? time to go yeah, yeah, to go return on to something else? Yeah, and get a little more experience mm -hmm. in sort of. I wanted to move more into education. Oh, because uh -huh. I have, have come from a curatorial background. Uh, our programs are mainly about education, uh, having people at the learn. art center. No, here at the TV station too. It's oh, about we. It's a. Uh, primarily for educational purposes also. That's very cool. Yeah, isn't that. it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, it's been really cool to be at the Art Center, too, and be more in an education role and interact with students and oh, of yeah. all ages. Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah, that's important. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and, you know, we have everyone from small kids to uh -huh. seniors. To 90-year-olds. Yeah, isn't, it's isn't so cool. Isn't there somebody 90 or 100 or I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> One person. <laughs> no, there's a not lot. Not me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm not, no, I'm joking. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> So anyway, uh, and you think you'll be doing that for a while now, right? Would yeah, you? I hope to be. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of different things at the Arts Center. I know James is very pleased with you. I spoke to him, and he was so glad that you said you could come on. What were the holidays? It's, it's so difficult, period. You know? Yeah. Well, it was a good time to come in um, when that transition between summer to fall. Uh-huh. Uh, so that worked out well. Yeah. Are there some um, health art classes for your health or something? Yeah, we do actually have a number of wellness-based yeah, art classes. Um, I'm actually teaching a workshop called Overcoming Creative Anxiety, oh. which is looking at like the fears that a lot of us have in mm -hmm. making art and that whole process. Oh and just accepting the anxiety as part of the art making process. Really? Oh. Yeah. But why, why is there anxiety, do you think? Well, 
I, I mean, I experienced this too in graduate school when I go to write a paper and you have the blank page in oh, front of you. And you don't know if you're good enough or something. Yeah, yeah. like I'm not good enough. Why uh -huh. am I doing this? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, a whole lot of reasons why uh -huh. that stop you from creating art oh. or writing or music. Yeah. I've always liked art. I'm not that good in it, but I, I like all the arts. I know my family was into it a lot, too. Some oh, really? of my uncles were artists, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, one uh, watercolor, no, I don't know what kind I like. Probably you know, just the easiest one. There's acrylic, I don't, I'm not good at acrylic art at all. Acrylic is hard. Isn't it? I yeah. Really, I, I really don't. It's not as forgiving as uh -uh. oil. Because uh -uh. with it oil you can kind of fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, even straight black and white I like actually. Uh -huh. It's the simplest, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what did you, did you say what you were going to be um, in your, your new classes exactly? Uh, for the ones that I'm teaching, yeah, yeah. The first one is the women in surrealism. Oh yeah, what is more, that entail? Like it's based more in like an art historical approach, looking at female surrealist artists uh -huh. who off park website in oh yeah art history. Is there narratives. females? You think? Yes. And with surrealism, a lot of people think it's just men. Oh. But there were a lot of women oh, that's good making to know. work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that they're making a point of being seen and heard. Yeah. 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 Good and we'll be women. doing some collage work. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's about time, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're always there. It's just a matter of looking a little more. Like when I was in school, people told me I was born too soon. Uh -huh. Because I went in for math and all kinds of like things that women didn't usually, uh, you know, follow that much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's definitely a lot more opportunities, opportunities right? Exactly. But it's still. And what what are your other classes or class? Uh, just the overcoming creative anxiety. Oh. But we do have a number of other workshops this winter coming up, oh. um, including some printmaking. We've been expanding the oh. printmaking department. Uh -huh. um, a few other wellness ones with one of our faculty named Ann Luke, who uh -huh. does kind of creative journaling. She has a kind of a sketchbook graphic style that she works with oh. and does a lot of journaling classes based on Gratitude, uh, travels, oh. and just sort of daily Got news and views, everyday life. Mm -hmm. So she'll be teaching a couple workshops. Oh, this that's season good. Too. And then you do some art shows, like too. Yeah, we got um, in the spring coming up. We have a show about. It's called Beyond the Selfie, and it's oh. going to be looking at self-portrait. Oh, but that's something. Different. Yeah, yeah, a little different because we're also thinking about kind of how people use the selfie today uh -huh, with uh -huh. phones um, and rethinking about how artists are looking at the self oh. through this kind of new appropriation of it by technology. Mm -hmm. So we'll have two guest jurors, Judy Norris and Suzette Bross. Mm -hmm. And Judy Norris is also going to be showing some work, too. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh -huh. that's one of our major spring shows coming up. James is very hard. <laughs> that's going to be opening in March. Uh -huh. What was the recycling art about? The Recycled Art event is one of our most popular events. Yeah, didn't you just have that? Yeah, we closed it at the end of October. Uh huh. And yeah, we couldn't get in in time. <laughs> yeah, throughout the year we collect donations. So mm. all year long, if you have art in your house that you're oh, I see you can don't want anymore. It. Oh. Yeah, if you're like moving, we get a lot of people moving oh. who donate art that they oh. don't want anymore. Oh, okay. And then oh, I see. I understand it now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I, the art that goes up in the sale. Oh. So oh. it's all had lives before. Uh -huh. in other people's so homes. So did they do well? Or? We did, yeah. Oh, that's good. We're not just to solicit for funds, but I was just wondering how, you know. Yeah, well, it's one of our biggest fundraisers of the year. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of people and even 
like a month later, people were calling to I know, see that it was still open. I know, everybody was hearing, it was talking about it. It was the talk of the town. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but now I know. Yeah. Yeah, it sort and of it just lasted over a week, didn't it? Yeah, about two weeks. Uh -huh. We kind of closed the galleries down, and it's just everything was devoted. Yeah, to I know. Recycle. Whenever I stopped in there, I felt I was in the way. Everybody was so busy doing things. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we had a line out the door like the first couple of days. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So and cool. uh, dinner and things like the first yeah. night. Yeah, so, yeah, that was the opening event. Oh. We had a big uh -huh. party. And yeah, had a lot of people come, mm -hmm. and they got the first dibs. Oh, that was sort of yeah. The they said there won't be much left after the first day. A lot of good stuff goes after the first Yeah, people come day. special for that. Yeah. Right, right. That's their chance ahead of other people. Yeah. And you definitely find some gems in there. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the people that donate it don't get anything out of it. They're just donating it. For, I mean, it's... Yeah. Well, a lot of people are happy to get rid of oh. things, or they don't know where to um, And it's going to a it. good place. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And every, all of the, all the money that we make out of the event is invested right back into the art center oh. and to the programming that oh, we do. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And we're making a lot of improvements and trying to reach out more to the city and uh -huh. yeah, build partnerships so, that way. Yeah, because it's, I mean, people would, uh, before I had to go all the way to the Art Institute in Chicago, I mean, yeah. and parking and everything. I'm from Chicago originally, and uh, it's a big hassle, like, and it yeah. takes time, and it's good that they're um, doing so much improvements here now. Yeah, and we have amazing well, there's one work, so oh. it's really cool to have yeah. a gallery of that quality here. In oh, the yeah, Shore. yeah. So she does. She does. She, um, the art center, it used to be in uh, a small little office upstairs somewhere. I remember we yeah. had our acting. That's how I started with James Lynch. We uh -huh. had our acting up there. Yeah, well, it's a much bigger building it's now. It's above uh, the res some restaurant Norton's, I think, or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we lay on the floor and it and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you built the whole new, um, <coughs> the whole new art center is fairly new. Yeah. Well. It's just a couple years old, isn't it? Well, we've been in that space now for 16 years, I think. How many? 16. One six? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that, Sooner, I mean that that many years already. I, yeah. yeah. Well, it used to be the a Vietnam Memorial or some or no oh. the American Legion building. Yeah, it was actually. It's right next to the uh, how the Women's Club they used to call it the uh -huh. uh, community. Oh center. yeah, the community house. Yeah, the old yeah. Women's Club they say, and um, the. Uh, yeah, so the other one was like you had to go in the side door when it was that little place, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful building. We have a lot of gallery space. Oh, we yeah, different, different floors. Galleries. Yeah, the studios are downstairs. Yeah. Um, and we have also been expanding our gift shop a little bit. Oh, yeah. And they so, have jewelry there, too. Yeah, we have jewelry, um, pottery, T-shirts, mugs. And also, um, if some people can't afford the classes, you uh, there's a s certain help for them. Yeah, like so we do give out a good number scholarships. of scholarships every session. Yeah, I know somebody that goes for the scholarships, uh, and she yeah. volunteers, you know, her time when she could. Yeah, well, uh -huh. it's a very cool. I feel really honored uh, to be able to part of this. Be part of that process. Yeah, growing. It's thing. really cool yeah. to make art more accessible to people uh -huh. in the community. Uh -huh. so, so did your, did your pottery, uh, not pottery, your um, other, in Peru, did that help in this position at all? Was there any connection or? Um, well, from my time in Peru. Yeah, to this, was there any, I mean, did it help that you did that? Um, it helped in the sense of giving me more direction in terms of where I wanted 
to take my career uh -huh. and I knew I wanted to work more with people in the community yeah instead of being behind the desk all the time oh yeah in like a curatorial position you you are behind the desk too aren't you at the Air Center you yeah know, and, but I do get to interact a little more with oh, yeah, the students yeah. and yeah. artists and more of a you know we have the art up and what can we learn from it what does it make us feel and thinking more about the education aspect of the show or mm -hmm. um, weaving is that what it was yeah, yeah it was weaving. the weaving I couldn't think of the word uh -huh. yeah so that gave me a little more direction like uh -huh. yeah I want to be more were there a lot of people community. from the United States there I wouldn't think so um a good number, really? but a lot of Canadians, oh, a yeah. lot of uh, French and Germans. Really? Yeah, um, but there's a pretty big expat community in Cusco, oh, which was cool. What kind of community? What expat, kind? like expatriate. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but a good number of Americans. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, were you always interested in art and school and everything? Or Yeah, I remember in... My mom always tells me the story of my kindergarten teacher oh. telling her that I Mm-hmm, so. absolutely. <laughs> How do you do it too much? I yeah, mean. and my mom said, I'm not worried. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> isn't that nice? Yeah. Because it's just so... Donate your time to something else. In other words, don't, don't just do one thing or something. I don't know. What did she mean yeah. by that? Yeah, I don't really know, <laughs> but here I am. So what did your mother say? She said, I'm not worried. I think she's okay. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, here I am 20 years later. With oh, an arts yeah. So Led to something, see? I guess What I did she know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's no such thing as too much. You drew a lot. You enjoy. Well, maybe she thought you were missing out on something, teacher. I guess, yeah. I don't uh, know exactly. Neglecting something. I'm sure your grades were good and everything. In kindergarten? Yeah. <laughs> she knew <Yeah>. already? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's funny. A lot changes in those years, anyway. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, you're not very old now, even like. In yeah. But I've, I have always been drawn to the arts. Have you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when I started college, I knew already that I was doing art history. Uh -huh. So, yeah, just kind of following. Three minutes. Oh, okay, very good. I'm interested. I just wanted to say that we're just too other than that. Like, I mean, are you spending too much but, time <laughs> with the art with now? With the arts? <laughs> uh, no, there's a lot to explore and oh. discover. Uh -huh. And it always... I mean, the cool thing with art history is it intersects a lot with a lot of other disciplines, like philosophy. I majored in philosophy. Oh, but really? what am I going to do with it? <laughs> People ask me that about art history. Well, there's more to do with art history, I think, than philosophy. Yeah. First, math. Well, that I could have done something with. I didn't. But philosophy, I don't know. There's different kinds of philosophy, too, because I took yeah. regular, and then I went to DePaul for a while and was all Catholic philosophy or theology like okay. it was entirely different not yeah, that I'm I would Catholic think so. or anything but um, yeah so uh, completely different the philosophy and I read a lot of books on philosophy I just found it interesting I mean I thought yeah I do too I mean that's why I chose art history it just kind oh. of struck something with me uh -huh. um, and it has led me to a lot of different places uh huh. Are you thinking of traveling to other countries, or? I would like to explore like, a little more. Oh, any in particular? Or? Um, well, I'd like to see more of Mexico. I mean, I, I would look at this. There's a lot more than just Cancun and. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. My friend just bought. No vegan vegetarian art. Uh huh. I'm sure yeah. not for the <laughs> art part. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And I'd they also had like time sharing. Now they decided to purchase. You know. Uh huh. Well, it's a beautiful area. Yeah, I've been to Acapulco. I was a travel agent for a while. Oh, cool. But I didn't, I'm, I'm not, I don't like to fly that much, so I didn't really take that much advantage of it. But I, I really uh, friendly because you know, Mexico City, uh, Puerto Verita wasn't that popular yet, I don't think. That's on the Pacific coast, Yeah, that's right? on the Pacific mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very popular. Which is a, a healthy cocoon. Mm -hmm. And um, there's another country, too, I think, or I can't. I don't know. That's right. But Puerto Vallarta, I know, is 
Uh -huh. Wasn't yeah. there some movie with Elizabeth Taylor or something? And, and the iguanas, I remember, I in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I think. It could be. Could be, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd also like to see Guatemala, uh -huh. too. My cousin was married to a girl from Guatemala. They oh. They're divorced, though, but yeah. He met her there. He used to travel a lot. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Guatemala is... Uh, yeah, and they have a big um, indigenous population, too. Do they? Yeah, a lot of culture that's still living there. Oh, he adopted her son, and now the son is his. Like, and they're divorced, even though, yeah, but he's closer with him than her, actually, the boy. Oh. Uh -huh, he lives here now, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, he was from Guatemala. So El Salvador was near there, too, I know. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, very Probably close. Probably close to it. Uh, the Yucat was that all part of the Yucatan? I think so. Uh, that's like the southern tip of Mexico, I believe. Oh. Those that, that eat meat, so. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's all kind of in that region. Uh -huh. uh, Central America. I have a cooking class. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you taken an art class at the Art Center before in Joyce? I'm trying to think. I took it at the uh, Senior Center. Uh, I think I did it one time, probably. I'm sure I did. Uh, they had other teachers there at one time, I know. They had uh -huh. acting, too, through the Art Center years ago. That's how it started there, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, they had James. They said, oh, he has a lot of charisma, I remember they uh -huh. told me. So I got started with him, and it went mainly into the acting part. Well, we actually are having an improv workshop. Oh, too. I love improv. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, so thing. that'll be really cool. Are you going to have it? Because adults never want to sign up for it in Highland Park. Really? Yeah, they just get the you know teenagers or children, and, yeah. and that's really my thing because I'm really a comedian. Uh huh. <laughs> People don't always know that they get insulted and all kinds <laughs> of things. Uh, but yeah, oh, is yeah, that, it's going to be a be one-day workshop. Oh. So it'll be like a nice little taste, and we're oh. trying to expand the kind of arts that we're offering. Okay, when is that going to be? Um, that's going to be in December. Oh, pretty soon. I should find out about that. Yeah. I was taking a regular class, actually. Um, it was a regular every week for like a month or two, too, on improv, but they don't have it right now. I don't know if the Art Center had it. No, some improv place there in Libertyville, I think. But uh -huh. they mostly have children. I mean, the adults never doesn't require power. Sign up and nobody else does or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope uh, I want to find out about it. Is it printed in their Yeah. In well, their... it's online. Okay. And it's going to be printed in our new catalog. Oh, okay. Did you and want to show something? Yeah. Well, this is the cover of our new catalog for the winter. Okay, that's interesting. I like that yeah. cover. Yeah, and oh, it was yeah. special this session because we had a contest for oh. the cover art. Uh huh. And Marilyn Hollander was the winner. She made this mosaic oh. Oh. dog. My mother had a furniture store called Cover Right. Really? Yeah, <laughs> dinette furniture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got a couple of uh, between one of our two. That's going to be published oh. in the catalog. Uh huh. So that was a fun one. And a knife. Uh -huh. Be in a little more. Uh, on I know the you process. combined an art show with Amy Amder in June. Uh, jewelry, potter, potter art. Uh, you combined the two. Of them. I actually don't. I wasn't here in. Yeah, I've had her on August. six times on my program with her art shows. I don't know how she does it, but forty some a, a season. All these That's different yeah. cities, or well, in Illinois mostly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Suburbs, like, and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, I know they have that every June, right uh -huh. down, uh, right by your uh, studio there. Well, maybe that's part of the Festival of Fine Arts, which Yeah, is that is what summer. I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, every year they have it there. Yeah, and that's another one of our big Oh, yeah, too. yeah, and then she has her own a separate art show, too, in August. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I like It always rains for her yeah. show, it seems. Well, this year it was really hot. Was it? I yeah, can't, I we had recall. a, TAC had a booth at the Port Clinton. Oh, oh. Okay, well, I guess this is winding it up now, and it 
really went fast. Did we yes. get everything in that you wanted to talk so. about? I, I thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Joyce. This is really nice. I'm yeah, and um, we'll have a DVD in about a week or two, and then you're going to be on YouTube permanently.